everyone, how are you today? I hope you are fine and safe. Let's learn! My name is Teacher Rufa and I will be your math buddy for week 7, quarter 2 in Mathematics 4. I will help you learn the lesson in renaming decimal numbers to fractions and fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100 to decimals. Are you ready? First, let's have a short review of your previous lesson. I will flash pictures one at a time. This is what you're going to do. Directions. Name the fractional parts of each illustration. Get ready, number one. The answer is, very good, one-sixth. Number two. The answer is, very good, three-sixths or one-half. Number three. Very good. The answer is 4 6 or 2 3rd. Number 4. The answer is very good. 5 6. I hope everyone really learned the previous lesson about fractions because it has something to do with our new lesson for today. This time, let us learn more about decimal and fractions. Did you know that decimals and fractions both are ways of showing parts of a whole? With decimals, the parts are always broken into tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. The digits to the left of the decimal point represents a whole number. The digits to the right of a whole number after the decimal point represents the parts of a whole. Now, let us rename decimal to fraction. I will help you to learn this lesson step by step. Let's start! Step 1. Write the digit in the decimal as the numerator. The digit in the decimal is 4, so the numerator is 4. Step 2. Write as many zeros after 1 in the denominator, as there were decimal places digits to the right of the decimal point in the decimal number. There is only one digit in the decimal, so there is one zero after one. Step 3. Reduce the fraction to its lowest form. Find first the greatest common factor or the biggest number that can divide both 4 and 10, and that is 2. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2 and 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Its lowest term is 2 fifth. 2 fifth is the fraction form of 4 tenths or 0 0.4. Another example, rename this decimal into fraction. Let us follow again the steps. Step 1. Write the digit in the decimal as the numerator. The digits in the decimal are 5 and 7, so the numerator is 75. Step 2. Write as many zeros after 1 in the denominator as there were decimal places digits to the right of the decimal point in the decimal number. There are two digits in the decimal number, so there are two zeros after one. Step 3. Reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Again, 
you need to find first the greatest common factor or the biggest number that can divide both 75 and 100. There is no bigger number than 25 that can divide both 75 and 100, only 25. So, 75 divided by 25 equals 3 and 100 divided by 25 equals 4. Its lowest term is 3 fourth. 3 fourth is the fraction form of 75 hundredths or 0 0.75. We have discussed the step-by-step -step process of renaming decimal numbers to fractions. I know you can do more and learn some more. Now, let us try to rename fraction to decimal number. We will also do the step-by-step -step process. Are you ready? Let's do it! Rename 3 tenths as decimal number. Here are the steps in renaming fractions whose denominator is 10. Step 1. Write the number in the numerator. And that is 3. Step 2. Put zeros in front of the digit 3 as in the denominator. Now look. There are two digits in the denominator, so when we add one zero before the number 3, we get the same number of digits in the numerator as in the denominator. Step 3. Count the zeros in the denominator and put decimal point such that the decimal places are equal to the number of zeros. Now count one place from right to left as there is one zero in the denominator. Thus, we get the answer 3 tenths or 0 0.3. Let us have another example. What if the denominator is 100? Let us try to rename 300 in decimal number. Here are the steps in renaming fractions whose denominator is 100. Step 1. Write the number in the numerator. And that is 3. Step 2. Put zeros in front of the numerator as in the denominator. Now look, there are 3 digits in the denominator so when we add two zeros before the number 3, we get the same number of digits in the numerator as in the denominator. Step 3. Count the zeros in the denominator and put a decimal point such that the decimal places are equal to the number of zeros. Now count two places from right to left. As there are two zeros in the denominator, thus, we get the answer 3 hundredths or 0 0.03. What if the denominator of the given fraction that you are going to rename as decimal number is neither 10 nor 100? What are you going to do? Let us try this one. Write one-fifth as decimal number. To rename fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100, Step 1. Rename the fractions in their equivalent fractions in tens and hundreds. The denominator 5 is a factor of 10 and 100 because 5 times 2 is equals to 10 and 5 times 20 is equals to 100. Since 5 is nearer to 10 than 100, we will use or write 10 as denominator. Next is find the numerator. Just divide 10 by 5 then multiply by 1. The answer is 2. So, the numerator is 2. Our fraction now is 2 tenths.
words. Step 2. Write fraction as decimal number. Let's do it. Let us rename this to decimal number by counting first the digits in the denominator. 1, 2. So there are two decimal places in the decimal. 1, 2. Write 0 before the number 2. Since the denominator 10 has 1, 0, let us count one place from right to left as there is one zero in the denominator, then put a decimal point. Thus, we get the answer to tens or 0 0.2. Let us try another example. Write the decimal form of 5 20th. The denominator 20 is a factor of 100, so we will use 100 as the denominator. Next is find the numerator. Just divide 100 by 20, then multiply by 5. The answer is 25. So, the numerator is 25. Our fraction now is 25 hundredths. Let us rename this decimal number by first count the digits in the denominator. 1, 2, 3. So there are 1, 2, 3 decimal places. Let us write 0 before 25. Now count the zeros in the denominator. 1, 2. Count 2 places from right to left. As there are two zeros in the denominator, then put a decimal point. Thus, we get the answer 25 hundredths or 0 0.25. Let us practice your skills. Let's see if you can already rename decimal to fraction or vice versa. Bring out your pen and paper and do what is asked. Get ready! Number 1. Write 0 0.9 in fraction. The answer is 9 tenths because there is one digit in the decimal number so the denominator is 10. Number 2. Write 0 0.30 in fraction. The answer is, very good, 3 tenths. Because there are 2 digits in the decimal number, so the denominator is 100. Express it to lowest terms by dividing 30 and 100 by their GCF 10. 30 divided by, by 10 equals 3 and 100 divided by 10 equals 10. Number 3. Write 82 hundredths in decimal number. The answer is correct. 0 0.82 or 82 hundredths because there are two zeros in the denominator so there are two digits in the decimal number. And number 4. Write 1 50th in decimal number. The answer is, that's correct, 0 0.02 or 2 hundredths because 50 is a factor of 100, so 100 divided by 50 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 hundredths is the equivalent fraction, so there are 2 digits in the decimal number. 0 is the placeholder for tenths and 2 for hundredths. Always remember, to rename a decimal to a fraction, we should follow the steps that we did earlier. I hope you learned our lesson well. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions about this lesson, you can send a message to our official Facebook page, Math Team 
Mathematics Teachers of Mandaluyong or you can send a direct message to your math teacher. Again, my name is Teacher Rufa saying, Matsayong mag-aral, tayo ng matuto! Bye-bye!